Okay guys, from an earlier post, this is a natural pond. This is Andy Turner's design layout he was asking about earlier. So here we go, this is a long video. Um, I sped it up considerably by just rotating rocks and you know, getting everything in place. It's a little monotonous and it takes a little bit of time. So what I usually do is I'll turn off all of my snaps, turn on point and line and just outline my pond area and I'm just going to go on the outside of the rocks um, because we're going to hide all this later with some boulder work so here we go so we're just going to follow the lines and just you know get everything where we want it placed and then we'll start adding the boulders here in just a minute get that out of there so the reason I turn off point in the line is so that I can smooth out my edges. So that's what I'm doing here. So I don't want those sharp points because sometimes they can make splinters that run off for infinity. Um, so I just try to keep them as smooth as I possibly can. It would also help when you are doing, like if you're doing a pool decking or something like that, planters, it's going to save you a lot of grief. So for this, I'm going to set my spa that I just made at a one inch coping and I'm going to drop this down, let's just say six inches. And then what I'm going to do is go into the terrain mode and then just drop the terrain immediately around my pond spa. So what this is going to do is just going to kind of give me a little dip down to the, to the pond itself. So using the elevation tool, I'm just going to smooth this down. And then we'll jump over to our smooth tool. And we'll kind of smooth it out a little bit, and I'll show you what it looks like with the grass. So it's going to kind of give us a little negative slope into the pond from the, uh, from the yard. So here we go. Here's some 3D grass. You see it's kind of etchy around here where I made it, so I'm going to smooth this out. And there's all these grasses you can select here. Um, so just pick one that, you know, you like or one that looks good with the property. So we're going to smooth it up a little bit up here so the grass doesn't look as jacked up as you saw it there. And then we're going to have to put this back down to our minus six um, around our spa pond here. There we go. And we can get in there and change our coping. You can do a 3D grass on it, but I'll show you what it's what's going to happen on the 3D grass. It's going to kind of it's going to kind of glitch out, I guess, and the grass is going to stretch across the the spa pond. So um, just change it. I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. So we'll just we'll change it back to a uh, you know just something something dark just the the 3d grass or something uh, minus the 3d grass would just change it you know that way i'll show you what happens so we're just going to outline this uh, like i said i'm just tracing um andy's design that he has going on here i'm not 100 percent sure what the scale is here so just just bear with me i'm just showing you a method on how i how i would do something like this um in the event that i would not be drawing it myself or if I were drawing it and I did it in 2D and now I'm going to build it in 3D this is the way that I would I would go about it okay so smoothing out our hard edges to get rid of those points uh, for our deck and we'll fix all this decking later it's right now just a placeholder see here's our grass see that see that grass strip kind of floating it's the spa coping so we're just going to change this to something something green there we go. So now it disappears. All right. Moving on. Um, let's get our draft house sorted out. Again, it's just a placeholder. Let's get our lower um, area down here. We'll sort that out here in just a second. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to grab some rocks that I like. Um, just so I can have just like a, uh, like a grab bag of rocks. So I can reach over, copy paste, and, you know, go from there. Um, and just start layering and stacking rocks and as you know random as I can possibly make it just to make it a little more natural a little more organic um, so you can use the insert multi-tool and it'll change the shape of the rock a little bit 
So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna layer on the bottom. I'm gonna start stacking and layering so I can get like a natural rock flow um, for, my, for my pond here, koi pond or whatever it is. I'm gonna make this one a koi pond. And just use your rotation, your scale. Um, rotate the rocks in place to kind of follow your curves of the of your spa pond and you know like i said it's, it's very monotonous it takes a little bit of time just to rotate you know so don't get lazy spend the time rotate the rocks in, in the correct place layer them properly and then you're going to have the end results going to be super cool and, and you're really going to like it uh, especially once you start getting you know some grasses going around it and some planting and whatnot um, it's, it's really going to come together. It's really going to look really cool. You get some you get some lights in there, um, which I'll show you here at the end. Um, again, we're just going to grab some rocks here. And I sped this up. Like I said, it's very monotonous just to kind of tweak these rocks and the scale and rotate, you know, and just try to get them as natural looking as you possibly can get them in Structure Studios. It's just a lot of layering. Um, but again, Spend the time on it. This whole, this whole thing here that I'm doing, it took about 30 minutes um, from start to finish. That's you know, importing the the background, um, of Andy's uh, 2D design, you know, tracing it out, um, getting all the rocks. Here I had a rock waterfall that I've I've already created and already had a bunch of groups of rocks, so I just imported that in and then just kind of busted it up and started grabbing sections of rock and now I'm just kind of moving around just to randomize it a whole lot more just so I don't want that, I don't want a pattern. Um, again, you can go in and change the colors of your rocks. Um, use the change same button. Utilize that if you have a bunch of the same rocks. But just make sure that you're rotating these rocks so that you don't have a pattern because what you're looking for is just a nice, natural flowing, organic pond. That's what we're really going for. Um, again, it's there's no right way or wrong way to do it. It's just, you know, just start stacking and layering rocks. Um, and just the main thing is, is that you're trying to eliminate patterns. So if, you, if a pattern, like if you have a couple of rocks and then it catches your eye, that's the same. Just reach over and grab some rocks and start just spinning and rotating and, and rescaling. Um, that's that's really all you have to do. Um, you can bust up your your rock um, groups uh, like I'm doing here, and then uh, just kind of use see little pieces here and there, and then we'll just scale and rotate, scale and rotate, place, scale and rotate, place. You know, it's just it's it's very monotonous, um, but again, it's gonna be cool when we finish it up. So let's see what we got here. Rotate rock, scale, rotate, copy, paste, scale, rotate, copy, paste. Uh, it's just, you know, a lot of that. That's why I sped the video up to, you know, I cut it down by more than half um, for this. So for this backside, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop uh, the terrain down a little bit lower. And then my hardscapes and decks are following the terrain. So they're actually, my walkways are going to slope down to the fire pit area. And you'll see how I adjust the boulders accordingly once I get my um, once I get my terrain in. Uh, so here we're just gonna kind of you know make a generic outline of this fire pit area down below here, um, and then I'll smooth out the uh, those sharp points, and just like this. There we go. And there's our fire pit area. We're gonna move these rocks uh, over. Like there we go. Okay. And let's make our little bridge here. It's in custom shape. Just make a little arc. Rotate the thing in place. You know, it's very easy. It could be a square. It could be a two-step bridge. A, you know, flat bridge. Whatever you want. So I'm going to do a little arch right here. We'll adjust it later once we adjust our terrain. You'll see how the terrain is going to change once we put it in there. All right. So let's drop this down. And as you see, since my walkways are on follow terrain, they're going to follow the slope. Um, of the elevation. But I'm also going to have to lower my rocks down on this backside. So your edge of your uh, spa might show up. So just adjust your rocks over it. 
so you don't see that edge. You can also make the edge rock if you wanted to go into the rock stage and make it rock um, just to blend in with your rocks more. Um, also the interior and the interior walls make that like a rock or a stone um, you know something like that just to keep it kind of natural and you don't have like a blue pebble or something inside your your pond you know that's that's not gonna be very natural uh, so here we go so we're gonna adjust this a little bit it doesn't have to be 100% perfect and we're gonna drop some plants in and you know we'll start putting this in so that that is it that is really it's just like I said it's very monotonous it's you know just layer copy paste layer rotate break up those patterns don't you know avoid the patterns of the rocks that's what makes it look really generic um, if you randomize stuff as you place them you don't have to come back later after you've already placed everything and then try to randomize or randomize as you go and then you know it, it'll it'll be a lot easier and a lot faster um, when you're building like these natural uh, water features, ponds, koi ponds, um, you know, water basins, you know, things like that. Um, so that's it, guys. I mean, it's really, really, it's 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 easy. It's just a little bit time consuming with something like this, just because of the amount of rocks that it takes to make it look decent in the program. Um, so that's really that's really all there is to it. Um, so here's the finished product. Um, we got the plants up. We got some lights in there. Uh, we got the fire going. Um, so looks really nice. You know, once it gets planted up, you kind of hide some things. You kind of put some pocket plants in there. So just get creative with it, guys. Be creative and, uh, you know, get your ponds going.